Hey everyone, my name is Eddie and welcome to another video. Today is a blue loadout video for CSGO. All the guns in here will be the theme of blue, and I hope you guys like it. It took me a long time to make. And remember, all the skins I get from here are from OP Skins. Um, I'm not sponsored by them or anything, but the link of OP Skins will be in the description below. You get the load prices of everything. So the first skin I'll be showing off is the Royal Blue USPS, minimal wear. This gun goes around for $2.70 and it looks fantastic. Although there's some tinks on it, Factory New also has tinks on it, so that's why I want to go up to Factory New. Plus, you know, Factory New costs uh, a little bit more money than that, so I, minimal wear should look good. Just make sure to uh, inspect the gun before you purchase it, so you know, you make sure to get the, the best uh, quality one for the right price. For the dual Berettas, I had to get these amazing urban shocks. Uh, factory new was only 60 cents. And by the way, guys, if you look around, you can find stickers on there for the same price of 60 cents or maybe even less. But uh, I got these for yeah, yeah, 60 cents and, you know, stickers on it. They look good. For the P250, we have the Valence factory new. This skin goes for 30 cents. Very cheap skin and it looks great. Um, I found some stickers on mine, so... You know, it's a hollow too, so it looks pretty dope. And there's nothing more to say about this gun and besides the fact that it looks great. For the 5.7, there is barely no 5.7 skins that are blue, guys. So that's why I had to go with the Forest Knight. It has a blue camo, and uh, I got this for Factory New for only 15 cents. You can't beat that. And uh, it does look good. For Desert Eagle, I went with the Midnight Storm Minimal Wear. This gun was only $1.50. The Factory New doesn't have any dinks on it, but it is a little bit more expensive than $1.50. That's why I went with the Minimal Wear. And Minimal Wear doesn't look half that bad. I mean, yeah, a little bit scratches here and there, but it still looks great. For the Glock 18, I had to go with the Bunsen Burner Factory New. This gun was only $0.45, cents and it looks great with the blue flame on it. You know, it's, it's something, you know? It's all blue skin theme inventory. You gotta go with it. Next up we have here is the Tech 9 Ice Cap Factory New. This gun goes for about 21 cents on the OP skins. And this gun looks great. There's different patterns for the top here, so you might want to uh, browse around because they got, you know, an all white mostly, all uh, light blue and all blue. So if you like certain colors on the top, then you can certainly look for that. For the P2000, I actually got this Stat Track. Um, it's an Oceanic uh, Factory New, and it was a dollar. I uh, got some, it looks, it looks good, alright, got a, you know, Atlanta sticker on the bottom of the handle, and, you know, it's a great gun. For the CZ Auto, I had to go with the Poison Dart, uh, this is actually field tested, and uh, it was only 60 cents, but it is stat track, so, you know, you can't get better than that, and uh, it, it has a nice camel on the top, and it looks great in-game. And unfortunately, there is no R8 skins that are blue, um, if I were you, I would just stick with the default because that's the naturalist looking blue that there is in all of the R8 skins. Maybe in the future they'll add some blue R8 skins, but for now there is none. Moving on to the primary and assault rifles, we have here is the FAMAS Sino Patter Factory New. This gun goes for 59 cents and it looks amazing. Um, I got a sticker on mine, uh, Cologne 2016, and it looks great with the pattern on it. For the M4A1S, I have the Brightwater Minimal Wear. This gun goes for $3.60, a little bit more expensive than the others, but it looks great. Um, you'll see the reason why I picked this gun, yeah, for another reason why, uh, later in the video. Um, but it looks good with the stickers I found, the combination I have on it. There's four um, ESL1 stickers, and it looks great. For the SSG08, uh, I got the Abyss, which is Minimal Wear, because Factory New doesn't look anything different. Uh, compared to minimal wear and I got this for 30 cents cheap skin and it looks great um, there is no pattern difference on these I think they're all the same pretty much but it looks great for the AUG I got the Aristocrat uh, this is factory new and it was 45 cents it has like a, a Victorian looking style to it I don't know how to explain it um, if you look around you might find some stickers for it but I, I simply just uh, picked it up because I thought it looks cool right away and yep For the AWP, or known as the AWP, I chose the Sun and Leo because there isn't many uh, blue AWP skins. I think this is the closest to pure blue AWP skin. Um, Hyper Beast is pretty close, has some blue in it, but I, I had to go with the Sun and Leo. The Sun and Leo is probably the uh, expensive skin for the assault rifles. It goes for $5.10, but it does look good. And I got a Kenny S sticker. Ciao. Next up we have the Scar 20. This is a Grotto factory new, and it was $0.12, cents, and I got a little sticker on it. 
And I, I like the pattern on it, it looks nice. For the Gleal uh, AR, I got a Stone Cold Factory New. This gun was $2, but I'm sure a, a minimal wear or less does look better. I just, I like this uh, gun, so I got a nice skin for it. For the AK-47, I had to go with the Blue Laminate because it was personally one of my favorites. And uh, this is Factory New. It was only $3.25, and I got all blue stickers on it, which looks pretty dope in game. As you can see here, um, shine next to the light, it, they do pop out. And the laminate does have a reflect on it, which makes it pop out even more. For the SG553, I picked the uh, Nazi Navy. I don't know how to say the first word, but it's factory new and it was only 14 cents. One of the cheaper ones. And it's not bad for the price. Uh, it's, it's plain blue, but you know, that's, that's what you get for if you want to hold blue load out. For the G3 SG1, I had to do the uh, Azure Zebra. Okay, it has a zebra looking pattern. Uh, black and blue and I got this factory new it was only 30 cents so I said you know why the hell not I'll just get this one it looks good I like it on here um, I wouldn't mind having a different uh, skin later in the future because it does I like the pattern on it very much and yeah next up we will be doing the submachine guns first off the bat we do have a MAC-10 Lapis Gator factory new this gun's only 15 cents on the uh, OP skins and it has a nice pattern to it uh, I really like it very much and yeah for the MP7, I have the Cirrus Factory New. This gun's only 78 cents, and it has a nice shine to it in the sun. Little skulls in the in the middle right there, above the uh, ammo container, and it, it's a very nice skin on the field. For the UMP45, I choose the Indigo. Uh, this is Factory New, and it was only 20 cents. Uh, it's a nice, it's a nice blue. All right, don't hate on it. Okay, it's a blue. Right, it's a, it's a nice blue. Uh, yeah, 20 cents, uh, it's a pretty good deal. You should get it. For the P90, I had to go with the module. Uh, I got, I found three stickers on mine. Uh, even though it doesn't, you can only see two of them. Probably on your point of view, there actually is three stickers on mine. Uh, this is minimal wear, and I got it for 32 cents. I don't think factory new is really required to make it look nice. Minimal wear looks just as fine. For the PP Bison, I went with the blue streak because it has like a nice little pattern to it. Blue, black, blue, black, blue, black. Uh, this is field tested and I think it looks better field tested because it has little, you know, scratches in it and it makes it look better. Uh, this was 33 cents and yeah, looks nice. Last but not least, and guys don't hate me on it, I know, it looks ugly. Don't go to the comment section yet. If you want a blue skin for the uh, MP9, uh, really blue you'd have to go with Pandora's box, which is eight dollars battle scarred. Okay, eight dollars and it goes up higher uh, Higher than battle scarred. So I had to go with storm because this is the nearest to the blue uh, I went with uh, Field test because I never use the mp9 honestly So you guys might if you want the Pandora's box go ahead and check it out But I went with the storm moving on to the heavy weaponry. I'm going with the uh, Nova moon and Libra minimal wear this gun is only 22 cents uh, well skin I mean and uh, it looks pretty good the design on it uh, reminds me of the Sun and Leo and yeah For the XM 1014 uh, I chose the slipstream uh, field tested I actually got this from one of my case openings uh, This is only eight cents <laughs> how ironic for my case opening of course my bad luck is always shit for the sawed off, I chose a Serenity minimal wear this guns only 38 cents. I actually pulled this from another um unboxing video but this is i bought this one a whole different and uh it's a pretty nice gun for the m249 uh chose the shipping forecast 70 cents a little green but you know it's blue somewhat and it's a nice skin uh for the heavy weaponry you might notice that they're kind of lower than factory new it's because in my opinion uh heavy machinery should be a little bit uh, beat up for the Negev, I chose the Dazzle Minimal Wear. This gun's only 13 cents, and it looks fantastic. Kind of a puzzle-looking gun, you know, hypnotize people while you're spraying them down. I don't know. And for the Mag 7, I had to go for the Cobalt Core. I think I got one of these from a case opening too, but I sold it. Uh, this one's factory new, and I got it for eight cents again. And uh, looks pretty good. No. For the moment you've all been waiting for, 
the knife. Okay, it is a gut knife, Brightwater Factory Neo. Okay, guys, don't complain. I know, I know, it is a gut knife. But look, it does match the M4A1S, and it is the cheapest blue knife on OP skins. I mean, yeah, you could get a more uh, battle scar, field test, or minimal wear, but this is factory new. It's the, it's the cheapest factory new blue knife, okay? If you spend like $10 or more, maybe less, uh, you could probably get a, a, a flip knife. Uh, bright water and then work your way to a, a bayonet or if you want after that you know it's it's up to you you know doppler phase four but you know this is a nice blue knife and i like it very much as you can see it matches the m41s and there you have it